Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to our English class for today. Um, so, uh, today we are going to continue our lesson about the literature. Uh, and before we start, okay, I would like to say sorry for you. Okay, to you, to all of you because I cannot teach you on Monday because I have something to do. It's very emergency. It's very important. So, I have dropped to all of you the notes and I hope all of you have uh, copied down the notes inside your uh, CC1. Okay, and I think I get some uh, of you have uh, finished it and have passed up to me your work. But still, uh, there's some of you didn't pass up yet. So, please do so. Okay, tolong han, hantar kalau masih belum hantar. Okay, uh, so let's continue uh, for today. Okay, as we, as I promise you, okay, today I'm going to explain to you about the poem. Okay, uh, on Monday, you have copied down the poem, uh, News Break by Max Fetchin. And today, I'm going to explain to you about the meaning for each stanza and the line. And I'm going to explain to you about the uh, poem. Okay, before we go through, uh, let's go through the title first. Okay, News Break means berita tergempa. Or shocking news. So, what is the news? Ah, uh, that's what we are we are going to learn today. All right, let's go to the next slide. Okay. Ah, uh, the learning objective for today at the end of the lessons, pupils can. Okay, there are three things that you should ah uh, able to. Okay, ah uh, able to learn for today. Okay, number one, read the poem with a suitable intonation. Okay, ah uh, boleh membaca poem saja dengan intonasi yang sesu sesuai. Okay, bukanlah baca macam baca buku teks. Okay, poem we have a suitable, we have to read the poem, we have to recite the poem with a suitable intonation dengan intonasi yang sesuai. Okay, number two, state the meaning for each stanza. Okay, nyatakan maksud bagi setiap rangkap. Okay, on Monday I have give you an exercise about stanza and line, and I hope. Uh, all of you still remember what is stanza and what is line. Okay, stanza means rangkap, lines mean baris. Okay. And number three states the persona and the subject of the poem. Okay, nyatakan persona dan subject bagi poem tersebut. Okay, what is persona? What is subject? Okay, later we will go through about it. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to show you a video. Okay, I want all of you to watch the video carefully because after this, I will ask you, we will discuss about it because the video is related to our topic for today. Okay, I will play the video now. Ampun, beribu-ribu ampun atas kesan Din. Macam dia yang terhilangkan jam yang berbelikan untuk Din dulu. Tak apa, Din. Abah maafkan Lepas Din. Lepas tu, Din lah yang tertumpahkan air kakak sepeh berabah tu. Oh. Lepas tu, yang terbaru Abah yang tercala tu kan? Bukan salah Din, Abah. Sebab Din yang terlalu kontrol. Lepas tu, pokok Abah tu, dia ni yang terbuang. Drone Abah, dia ni yang terusakkan. Dapur Mak, dia ni yang terbanjikan. Alpia Abah, dia ni yang terpijak. Lepas tu, almari cantik Mak kan, sebenarnya dia ni yang tertumbangkan. Uh, lepas tu, comel. Dia ni yang terlanggar. Lepas tu, dia terus tekan pen Abah. Lepas tu, pek mati hitam Abah, dia terpatahkan. Lepas tu? Lepas tu? Abah maafkan dia. Sudahlah, sudahlah, sudahlah.
Okay, so yeah, uh, you have watched the video just now. Okay, uh, so if you look at the video, okay, the video tells you about the kids, okay, the uh, the child, okay, the boy is making a lot of mistake. Okay, dia banyak buat salah. Okay, dia langgar kereta, dia langgar kucing, dia pecahkan pasu, dia berosakkan kasut. Okay, and so on. Okay, there are many mistakes. And what did he do? Okay, he asked for forgiveness from his parent. Okay, dia minta maaf dekat dia punya ah, ayah dia. Okay, during the hari raya. So, the moral story of the video, okay, if you do a lot of mistake, if you any mistake, you have to ask for forgiveness. Okay, kalau buat salah, kena minta ma maaf. Don't keep it by yourself. Contoh awak calahkan kereta ayah awak. Ha, lepas tu awak cakap, ah, tadi saya nampak, ah, tadi ah, adik nampak ah, orang jiran sebelah yang calahkan. Ah, no. Okay, that is very bad. Okay, kalau dah buat salah, kena menga mengaku. You have to Face it. You have to uh, confess about your mistake. Okay, jangan salahkan orang lain dan jangan uh, jangan simpan. Okay, kalau awak simpan, orang lain yang tahu, orang lain yang beritahu ke ayah awak, so it will be very serious. Okay, akan jadi lebih ter teruk. Okay, that is the uh, moral story of the video. Okay, and actually the video to the, uh, the video that you have uh, watched just now is related to our topic for today. Okay, let's go through the next slide. Okay, imagine that you are, you bring your school report to show it to your parents. Okay, uh, bayangkan awak bawa school report, okay, buku, awak punya buku uh, laporan sekolah, okay, dan untuk tunjukkan kepada parents awak. Okay, but your result is not so good. Okay, tapi awak punya result tidak bah, baik, tidak berapa bah, bagus. So, what are you going to do next? Okay, apa yang awak akan buat lepas tu? Okay, so for this one, okay, I'm going to give you the link. Okay, uh, I want you to click the link and write down your answer in the uh, space provided. Okay, later uh, I will go through the your answer and uh, I will share the good answer. Okay, the most honest answer. Okay, jawapan yang paling jujur dan jawapan yang paling bagus. Okay, inside your class. Ataupun kalau tak nak, kita simpan sendirilah. Okay, that is my secret. Okay, uh, so next. Okay, let's go to. Okay, uh, for your information. Okay, before this, during our uh, school at uh, at the early of the year, this year. Okay, pada awal tahun hari tu, saya dah bagi tahu. Okay, you have three books. Okay, three literature books and uh, I don't think we have learned about it uh, any books, okay, kita tak pernah belajar lagi, so one of the book is this book, okay, poetry for pleasure, okay, this books you are going to use it from form 1 to form 3, okay, awak akan gunakan buku ni dari form 1 sampai form 3, okay, this book is include, uh, there are many poetry inside this book that you are going to learn, so you can go through the book, okay, and also news break is also here so, I I don't really uh, remember which page. Maybe you can go through it by yourself. Alright. And another two books is the short story. Okay, the first one is Fair Fair. And the second one is King Arthur. So, I hope uh, all of you have read the uh, story books by yourself. Okay, because um later we also will going through the textbook. Okay, we are going through the story. Okay, next. Okay, now we are going to read the uh, poem together. Okay, I'm going to read for you the poem. So, I want you to listen and try to follow me. Okay, cuba baca ikut cara saya. Okay, um, because I'm now I'm going to read with the intonation. Okay, saya akan baca dengan menggunakan intonasi bersaja. Okay, let's start. Now, why so loving, darling? And why the sudden kiss? You'd help me with some little jobs? For goodness sake, what is this? Your face is clean for once, dear. Your clothes without a crease. You save your lunch and money? Will one day never cease? No dropping of your school books. No shrieking. Childish trouble. Today you are a lamb, dear. Where yesterday a rebel? 
but surely you are some stranger. No rich or hula balu. Come closer. Let me look, dear. Can this be really you? Now, were you struck by lightning? Or were you stunned at spot? Ah, now I see the reason. You have brought your school report. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's all. Uh, that's how you read a poem. Okay, itu cara macam mana nak baca poem. Okay, maybe some of you is very uh, good in re write, uh, reciting poem. Saya tak tahu awak mungkin ada kau awak mungkin ada dari kalangan awak yang lebih berbakat. Okay, maybe uh, next year if we still meet each other, kalau saya masih mengajar awak, mungkin kita boleh tengok siapa yang pandai baca. Okay, now let's go through the uh, poem. Okay. Uh, in details Okay, let's go through one by one Okay, this is the first line The first two line Okay, uh, number one now Why is so loving darling? Okay, this is the mother Okay, the mother is very weird Okay, sangat pelik Kenapa ni? Uh, kenapa tiba-tiba ni sayang? Uh, dia panggil anak dia sayang darling Okay, and why sudden kiss? Kenapa tiba-tiba kiss? Okay, sebelum ni dia tak pernah kiss Tiba-tiba dia kiss Okay You would help me with some little jobs. Okay, awak tolong saya buat kerja. Okay, for goodness sake, what is this? Hmm, apa ni? Peliknya? Ah, something like that. Okay. Your face is clean for once, dear. Muka awak bersih sangat. Okay, pada hari ni. Okay, ah, sebelum ni muka dia maybe is very dirty. Okay, his face is very dirty. But suddenly the face is very clean. Tiba-tiba je muka dia hari tu sangat ber bersih. Okay, your clothes without a crease. Okay, baju awak tak berkedut. Okay, crease mean kedut. Okay, if you look at these two clothes, ah, uh, the first one is got crease, got wrinkle. Okay, ada kedut. And the second one is very tidy, it's very uh, neat. Okay, sangat kemas dan sangat ber bersih. Okay, you save your lunch and money. Will wonder never cease. Okay, awak simpan duit makan tengah hari awak. Sangat pelik. Okay, peliknya. Ini satu keajaiban Okay, will one day never see it's Keajaiban sangat ajaib ah, Something like that Okay No dropping of your school books No shrieking Childish trouble Okay, awak tak hempas buku Awak tak menjerit Awak tak men marah-marah Okay, tak shouting No shouting Okay Today you are a lamb here Okay, where yesterday a rebel Okay, hari ni awak macam anak Kambing. Lamb means anak kambing. Kenapa dia cakap anak kambing? Okay. If you want to know, okay, lamb is very innocent and very kind. Okay. It's very soft. Okay. Biasanya uh, kalau kita tengok anak kambing, dia sangat baik. Okay. Sangat innocent. Okay. Sangat lembut. Okay. Mana awak punya marah-marah macam semalam? Okay. Where yesterday a rebel? Okay. But surely you are some stranger. No rich or hula balu. Okay. Tapi yang pasti awak sangat pelik awak orang lain. Okay, tak ada marah-marah dan tak ada uh, memberontak. Okay, hula balu. Okay, come closer. Let me look dia. Can this be really you? Okay, ada uh, sini dekat sikit. Saya nak tengok betul ke anak saya ni? Uh, something like that. Okay, that is the meaning. Okay, now were you struck by lightning? Or were you stand at spot? Sekarang, adakah awak diserang, uh, di panah peti? Ataupun awak cedera, awak terkejut ke masa awak main spot? Okay, mak dia pun terfikir anak dia ni lain kena uh, panah peti ke? Uh, something like that. Okay, so ah uh, now I see the reason. Okay, so ah uh, barulah saya tahu. Barulah saya sedar. Okay, you have brought your school report. Okay, awak dah bawa awak punya buku laporan sekol sekolah. So, uh, we can guess here. Okay, kalau tiba-tiba nakal jadi baik ni, okay, there's something wrong with his school report. Mesti ada something yang tak bagus tentang school report dia. Maybe he get a bad grade. Okay, dia dapat grade grade yang tidak ba baik, tidak bagus. Okay, ah, uh, so this is the explanation for the poem just now. Okay, same like I have told you just now. Okay, but ah, uh, this is in more detail lah. Okay. So, uh, you can go through this uh, and later also I will share this slideshow so you can read it again. Okay, uh, because uh, 
you are going to do a an exercise later. So maybe you want to refer to these notes. Okay, but you don't have to copy the notes. Okay, so this is the stanza one. Okay, same. Uh, the parent is surprised, sudden change. Okay, the uh, parents is very surprised. Okay, dengan perubahan sikap anak dia, sangat terkejut. Then, uh, anak dia tiba-tiba bagi kiss and help her for with house chores. Okay, tolong dia buat kerja rumah. So, the parent is very weird, very bewildered. Okay, stanza 2 uh, tells you the parent cannot believe the child's face is very clean and the clothes is very clean, very tidy, very neat, no wrinkle and he also save his lunch money. Okay, lunch on money. Okay, next, the child also does not drop any of his or her book. Okay, stanza 3, dia cerita balik, uh, anak dia tak lepa buku, tak menjerit-jerit. Okay, dan anak dia sangat baik macam anak kam kambing is very inner innocent. Okay, stanza for the parent is very weird because uh, anak parent dia rasa anak dia macam orang asing, macam orang lain. is totally a stranger. Okay, because uh, the child is not making any noise. Anak dia tak bising-bising, anak dia tak menjerit-jerit. So, mak dia sangat pelik. Okay, and last one, okay, stanza 5, the parents wonder if lightning has struck the child. Okay, macam saya cakap tadi, okay, uh, mak dia pelik. Adakah anak dia ni cedera, kena panah peti ke, atau terkejut masa main sukan ke? And suddenly, at last, finally, the parents know the reason why the child become very kind and very soft. Okay, sebab dia bawa buku, bawa-bawa dia punya buku laporan sekolah. sekolah. Okay. Next, <coughs> okay, the words that you might not know. Okay, let me make it bigger first. Okay, the words that you might not know. Okay, uh, this is the word, maybe uh, some of you not really care about the, uh, about the words. Okay, so uh, this is the notes. Uh, number one, clothes without the crease mean baju tidak berkedut. Okay, this is the meaning in Chinese. So maybe the Chinese student, you can read this uh, meaning for more understand. For, uh, for more understanding. Okay, number two, lancon money. Okay, duit makan tengah hari. Will wonders never cease? Adakah keajaiban tidak akan berhenti? Okay, wonders mean keajaiban. Never cease, tidak akan berhenti. No shrieking childish trouble. Okay, tiada jeritan. Shrieking means jerit. Okay, shouting. Okay, today you are a lamb love. Hari ni awak mendengar kata. Okay, you are very innocent. Okay, sangat baik. Yesterday a rebel, semalam awak seorang pemberontak. Okay, rebel means pemberontak. Okay, no rage or hula balu. Okay, tiada kemarahan dan huru hara. Okay, awak tak marah-marah, awak tak menjerit, awak tak. Cik pasal lah, senang kata. Okay, it struck by lightning. Okay, dipanah peti. Struck means dipa, dipanah. Okay, stun, terkejut. And last one, school report, laporan keputusan peperiksaan. Okay, next one. Okay, the setting. Okay, uh, if you, when we learn about poem, we have to know the setting. Okay, setting, uh, setting masa dengan setting tempat. Okay, no specific time frame is mentioned but the child probably just return from school. Okay, dia tak nyatakan bila. Dia tak nyatakan waktu malam ke, waktu pagi ke, waktu tengah hari ke. Tapi mungkin masanya adalah semasa anaknya pulang dari sekolah. sekolah. And the place is at home. Okay, tempatnya dekat ru rumah. Okay, just now I said persona, right? Okay, persona is the storyteller. The person that tells you the story. Okay, the person that tells you about the poem. Okay, Uh, orang yang bercerita So the the storyteller here okay, The persona here is the pair The parent okay, The parent who is puzzled to see his or her child's sudden change of behavior The persona is the parent So the subject must be the child Okay, Subject ni mestilah anak di dia Okay, themes There are two themes in this poem okay, The first one is having an ulterior motive Okay, Or in Malay we call ada Agenda motif tersembunyi. Okay. The child is rather sly. Okay. Anaknya bersikap uh, tidak jujur. Okay. He is behaving well for a reason. Okay. Dia bersikap baik kerana ada se sebab. He brought home his his report card which may contain bad grades. Okay. Dia bawa balik rumah report card yang mungkin ada result yang tak baik. 
Can he tries to win his parents' heart by behaving well? Dia cuba nak menangi hati parents dia dengan bersikap bah baik. Okay, that is the first one. Okay, the second one is disobedient. Okay, disobedient means tidak pa, tidak patuh. Atau, atau senang kata tak hormat ibu bapa. Okay, the child is described to be naughty and disobedient most of the time. Okay, anak tu diterangkan sebagai seorang yang sangat nakal dan tidak tapuk, di, tidak patuh setiap ma masa. Okay, that is why the parent is very surprised to see him behaving well. Okay, that's why parent dia rasa sangat pelik tengok anak dia bersu, berubah sikap jadi ba baik. Okay, moral values. Okay, there are two moral values here. Okay, number one, we must try to behave well at all times and not only on certain occasions. Okay, maksudnya kita kena sentiasa bersikap baik setiap masa dan bukan untuk certain cases setengah perkara sahaja. Okay, jangan mentang-mentang um, nak minta beli phone, tiba-tiba tolong tu lah, tolong ni lah, jadi baik. Okay, no, you have to behave well every time, especially to your pet parents. And number two, we must have the courage to face unpleasant consequences instead of finding excuses. Okay, kita kena berani menghadapi apa-apa consequences, apa-apa yang berlaku uh, selain melainkan atau berbanding daripada mencari uh, alasan. Okay, kalau awak buat salah, you have to face it. Okay, awak kena mengakui kalau awak buat salah. Bukan cari uh, alasan Uh, contoh uh, Apa ni uh, Riza awak jatuh Awak salahkan uh, Kerja sekolah banyak sangat Tak ada masa nak study uh, That is finding excuses Awak cari alasan untuk backup diri awak okay, That is not good okay, Jangan salahkan orang lain Kalau silap sendiri awak kena aku akui Okay So before we end our class Okay if you have any question You can ask the question inside the book Okay we will go through the question And I will try to answer all your questions Okay Alright I think that's all for today Okay now I'm going to give you The link for the quiz Okay and I want all of you to answer the quiz And also don't forget To print screen Okay snap picture of your marks And share it in your group In the group Okay, we will go through. Okay, I will check one by one. If you have any question, you can ask me. If you don't understand, also you can ask me in the group. Okay, I think that's all for today. Okay, I hope all of you can understand my explanation. And we will see again next week. Alright, that's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.